no malot another uh, factor which weighed with the government while coming out this no cap policy was that if some party wants to donate more than 7.5% and they do not wish to have a shell company also what would be they i'm posing a question to myself what the company will do they, they, they will not pay right no that's the first idealistic option but that was not but that, that didn't used to happen what they used to do was the balance when they want to donate 10% the balance 3.5% would come in cash now at least if they donate 10% the clean money comes in the system so which is not to say that the unclean money is not coming into the system see we we are we are in fact we are in fact going into two there are two conflicting rights in a way coming from one is confidentiality other other is check on kickbacks or quid pro quo these are times not i i would not earnestly urge not i would i would earnestly urge not i would earnestly urge dealing with a subject not which is bothering everyone not to start with a presumption that every contribution should necessarily be a part of corruption may perhaps be a wrong not way of not looking at things it may be that in some cases it can be quid pro quo in some cases but not the experience have suggested that in most cases the vote not whoever donates donors be it individual con individual contractor businessman company trust huf etc they donate which kind of a government they want maybe out of 110 maybe kickbacks i'll i'll address that kickback part also or would that be valid if a company were to donate even 100% of its uh, revenue is that guided by altruistic motives we we might see everybody doesn't donate you know with as a kickback not at all therefore not kindly may not and do not so have this. companies we also have companies all companies cannot be tarred with the same brush in india you have corporate sector which has contributed to the productive assets of the nation so we are not they have they are not at all saying that our corporate sector the is there for the of the nation make that assumption well, only only a minute uh, mr sibal sibal sir no, there was something personal not uh, uh, it was not a fun or humor uh, out of concern i asked something which i right now not share that's all i did some uh, we had some concerns i said go to my chamber that's all. <coughs> but uh, so the idea was that instead of either shell company or uh, paying by cash let let the clean money come into the system and malot clean money has come into the system second whether we like it or not not industrial houses commercial houses corporations companies they have malot immensely uh help you know in the development of the nation and now you know as i have shown that's what i just said that you know we don't so start everyone you know does not pay by kickbacks to to you know believe that they need electoral bonds to be used or any other factor to be used to influence the decision making would be you know shutting an eye on the reality without that also you know that can be done and possibly practically despite you know this white channel being available both channels might be used by some companies which are you know not kind of good companies but good companies you know do decide to donate based upon their experience whether in this regime of the political government my investment is safe or not whether the country is going forward or going backward whether i am all right mr sirista we now understand but, but can we do this to sort of uh, to carry the dialogue further should we go straight to the scheme because we like to yes, hear you on the scheme page 25 let's have a look at the scheme page so 25 your argument on the scheme will be of value to us this we have now seen that uh, because your lordship you made your have, point no doubt about it no kindly your lordships have the challenge to a provision which gives away or does away with a cap i have given my answer for your lordships to i i think i am clear yes of course now malot the scheme see the definition malot in the, and, and malot please please read malot uh, as if it is for a bona fide reason and not to 
encourage or legitimize kickbacks please examine that there may be 10 percent out of 100 where kickback is provided kickback can be the motive of the donor electoral bond means a bond issued in the nature of promissory note which shall be a bearer banking instrument and shall not carry the name of the buyer or payee Hello, i have already explained why this is why this confidentiality so i'll not read the second part the second column is the object behind it my object i have sufficiently not attempted to explain and therefore i'll not repeat it please see my lord authorized bank this is the entire policy produced reproduced verbatim i have not missed anything so your lordships can read either from the policy or from here but here it would be more convenient because i have given my object of each That's clause right. but there is no no part of the policy is missed my lord in reproduction authorized bank means the state bank of india authorized to issue and encash the bonds in the branches specified in annexure one to this notification my lord, my lord we had options my lord, of public sector banks and private banks obviously we cannot choose private banks in public sector banks the largest bank with largest presence in the country is state bank of india therefore state bank of india there is a specific not exclusion of private banks in the faqs they don't use private banks for this channel because let it remain in one particular bank which can be trusted and your lordships would not Lord, kindly, Lord, bear with me. Not trust institutions, and I will. I'm, I'm going to show to your lordships that there is any deviation. If anyone tries to breach into the confidentiality, it leaves its footprints and will not go unpunished. Lord, I, I, as a law officer, spoke to the chairman of the State Bank of India, and I have his letter signed by him, saying three things. A, accept the contingency contemplated under Section 74, that is the court's order. Nobody can get, well, I, I might even read my lord the later, my lord, so that your lordship, uh, conscience is satisfied that even ruling party will not. But if I can sh share, it's a three paragraph, one page later, my lord. Just to satisfy your lordship's conscience that the scheme does not allow or permit even ruling party to know about, even the government to know about. The central government as a, as a body, my lord, no, not forget the ruling party in the government, central government would not know. But this is a letter addressed to me, for me I read. In response to the queries of the Solicitor General, we submit our response as under. The State Bank of India has a foolproof mechanism for maintaining complete secrecy of details of purchaser of the electoral bond and also the political party which deposits such electoral bond. This information cannot be shared with anyone, including the central government. In the eventuality contemplated under Clause 7.4, there is a scientific system available whereby this confidentiality can be decoded by a process and be placed before the competent authority or court under clause 7 4 of the scheme. It will not be in the interest of the scheme to put it in public. The mechanism which will be used while decoding information for being provided as required under sec clause 7 4 of the scheme. Now, my lord, the largest public sector bank is before the highest court of the country, signed by the chairman of that bank, saying that this cannot be shared even with the central government. And we have a mechanism in place that nobody can breach it. So, my lord, the point I am respectfully making is that we have to trust institutions that they will go by the law. My lord, if there is any deviation, I have a suggestion, my lord, which I will make at an appropriate stage when I come to that part of the scheme. Now, my lord, C is issuing branch. Issuing branch means a designated branch of the authorized bank specified in annexure 1 for issuing electoral bonds. Lord, 
everywhere it cannot be purchased and everywhere it cannot be deposited. My Lord, what, what happens is, my Lord, why this? The donor and donee both must have a designated account in a designated branch. Why? Why, my Lord? I'll just very candidly and very bluntly point out, my Lord, what, hap what can happen? My Lord, I purchase a bond of 1 crore of rupees. I'm sorry, my Lord, dear Lordship, sir. I purchase a bond of 1 crore of rupees. I give it to a political party. They don't wish to show it in their return at all. What they can do is, they can go to one small cooperative bank in Trichur or some uh, corner of Gujarat or some corner of uh, Lord Maharashtra, deposit it, withdraw in cash and nobody would come to know. To avoid this, we have said that every political party will have one designated account, only there it can be deposited. And that would be in one of the 29 designated branches. And it is so ensured that each branch is there in each state broadly. Then, my Lord, D. Person includes an individual, a Hindu undivided family, a company, a firm, association of persons, or body of individuals, whether incorporated or not, every artificial juridical person not falling within any of the preceding sub clauses and seven, any agency, office or branch owned or controlled by such person. But Lord, petitioners have confined their arguments essentially to companies. But this includes all. And my Lord, there are several donors from experience, my Lord, when I discuss, who donate on individual basis. My Lord, there are several conventional businesses like transport business, like uh, contractors business, where there are individuals who do the business. They, they don't form any kind of formal company or Hindu undivided family or a partnership form. Then third, eligibility for purchase and encashment of electoral bond. The bond under this scheme may be purchased by a person who is a citizen of India or incorporated or established in India. 